குருஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை தி போர்ட் ஆஃப் டைரக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோகஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ்அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus free bus for lkg to 8th standard free hygienic and nutritious food neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg to plus 2 kurunji education institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in in continuation to the last class in this class we are going to discuss one example problem based on the previous information afterwards we are going to discuss what is the work and uh, types of work zero work done or no work done positive work done and negative work done right okay so in our previous class we focused to learn what is work energy theorem what is work energy theorem right so in case of an object right or in case of a body or in case of a particle the change in kinetic energy is equal to the amount of work done change in kinetic energy is equal to the amount of work done right so that is that is what uh, we are calling it as work energy theorem work energy theorem okay right in this class we are going to learn we are going to discuss one example problem based on the previous class what we discussed and then work and uh, types of work done types of work done okay right so see here ma first we will go through the example problem first we will go through the example problem right see here so it is example 6.2 it is well known that a raindrop falls under the influence of the downward gravitational force and the opposing resistive force opposing resistive force full stop the latter is known to be proportional to the speed of the drop but is otherwise undetermined full stop consider a raindrop of mass 1 gram falling from a height 1 km it hits the ground with a speed of 50 meters per second it hits the ground with a speed of 50 meters per second right so once you observe the problem what he has given and what he is asking to find it is well known that a raindrop falls under the influence of the downward gravitational force and the opposing resistive force so it means that when the when rain falls when rain falls the raindrop is coming to reach the ground no right that is because of downward gravitational force at the same time we all are living among the air molecules no right so these air molecules tries to stop the motion of the raindrop so that itself air exerts some resistive force that you can also call it as frictional force right so the frictional force is offered by the air molecules to the raindrop so which is opposing resistive force next the latter is known to be proportional to the speed of the drop the latter is known to be proportional to the speed of the drop but is otherwise undetermined full stop consider a raindrop of mass so they have given mass of the raindrop as 1 gram falling from a height 1 km right full stop it hits the ground it hits the ground with a speed of 50 meters per second right so finally what we have to find see here what is the work done by the gravitational force what is the work done by the gravitational force next uh, what is the work done by the unknown resistive force what is the work done by the unknown resistive force right so two things we have to find here 
So one is the work done by the gravitational force. Another one is work done by the resistive force. Right? Okay. So generally, what is the work done by the gravitational force here? Already, I, already we can, already we imagined. I hope you imagined that what hap, what is happening in the problem. So when the raindrop is coming, the direction of the gravitational force, right? So the, 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 the gravitational force, the downward gravitational force is acting on the raindrop. That is the reason for the raindrop to reach the ground. Okay, see here. The change in kinetic energy of the raindrop is, so generally it is initial velocity is zero, no? So then final velocity. So that you can say that when the initial velocity is zero, delta k, that is what uh, change in kinetic energy, change in kinetic energy, that is equal to half mv square minus 0, right, okay. So, that respective values, right, so whatever the values they have given, as the mass of raindrop 1 gram, 1 gram means in kgs, 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 or 10 to the power of minus 3 kg into v is 50, right, but uh, there is square now, so 50 into 50. 1 by 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 50 into 50, right? So, it will be 1.25 joule. So, it is 1 by 1000, ma? 1 by 1000, right? So, that uh, 50 by, this is what, uh, it is 1000 now. So, here 50, here 1000 and uh, one more 50 is there, here 2. So, if you complete that mathematical process, you will get it as 1.25 joules. 1.25 joules, okay? Afterwards, work done by the gravitational force is, work done by the gravitational force is, W, G, that is what work done by the gravitational force is equal to M, G, H, M, G, H, that is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3, 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 into 10 power 3, because the mass is 10 to the power of minus 3 and acceleration due to gravity is 10 and uh, height is 1 kilometer now. So, when you are converting 1 kilometer into meters, when you are converting 1 kilometer into meters, then it will be 1000 meters, it will be 1000 meters. In the answer, finally it will be 10 joules, okay. Next, uh, so here in this uh, AM, uh, what is the work done by the gravitation force? It is 10 joules, right. So, before that we found change in kinetic energy there initial velocity is zero initial velocity is zero so the drop is initially at rest afterwards by assuming that acceleration is constant g is constant with a value 10 meters per second square 10 meter per second square the work done by the gravitational force is the work done by the gravitational force is 10 joules next in continuation to that, we have to find next one. That is what, uh, what is the work done by the unknown resistive force? What is the work done by the unknown resistive force? Now, from work energy theorem, from work energy theorem, here, delta K, that is what, change in kinetic energy, T change in kinetic energy is equal to WG plus WR, WG plus W R. This is what uh, work done by the gravitational force. This is what work done by the resistive force, work done by the unknown resistive force, right. So, here W R is a work done by the resistive force on the raindrop. That is what uh, W R is equal to. So, delta K minus W G now. So, delta K here we found that is uh, 1.25 minus W G is 10. So, 1.25 minus 10 means it is minus 8.75 joules, minus 8.75 joules. So, here work done is negative, work done is negative, okay, right. So, in this problem, in this example problem, we found work done by the gravitational force on the raindrop and work done by the unknown resistive force on the raindrop. Regarding that, they have given mass of raindrop and height from which raindrop is falling, afterwards it hits the ground with a speed of 50 meters per second, right, okay. So, this is the thing we did not use anywhere, that is what, uh, with what speed it is going to reach the ground, but rest of the things, that is what mass of the raindrop and from the height at which it is going to fall, 
these two things we used to calculate the work done by the gravitational force afterwards we calculated the work done by the unknown resistive force by using work energy theorem work energy theorem so if you observe if you imagine properly in case of raindrop whatever the amount of work done takes place it is belongs to the work so energy and work energy the work is a form of energy work is a form of energy right so whatever the change in kinetic energy is available in case of raindrop that is equal to the total amount of work done so there itself we can find what is wr that is work done by unknown resistive force that is equal to delta k minus wg it will be minus 8.75 joules right next we are going to discuss what is the work and what are the different types of work done different types of work done okay. see here consider a constant force f acting on an object of mass small m consider a constant force capital f acting on an object of mass small m the object undergoes a displacement d in the positive x direction as shown in the figure the object undergoes a displacement d in the positive x direction as shown in the figure right so see the situation so here there is a object of mass small m so here we are going to apply certain amount of force right but force the applied force makes certain angle with the horizontal it will be theta so it is a f cos theta and it will be f sin theta right and the displacement taken by the object is small d towards x axis along the x axis okay right in this example in this example we are going to calculate the amount of work done so what is the amount of work done here so w is equal to f cos theta into d that is equal to f bar dot d bar f bar dot d bar right it is a dot product of two vectors or scalar product of two vectors force and displacement vectors force and displacement vectors okay right here itself this is the definition of the work ma you just be concentrate the work done by the force is defined to be the work done by the force is defined to be the product of component of the force in the direction of the displacement and the magnitude of the displacement okay right so here what is the force this is the force right okay so what is the component of the force in the direction of the displacement right first uh, what is the direction of the displacement because displacement is a vector quantity no it has both magnitude and direction so this is the direction of the displacement so in this direction what is the component of the force f cos theta f cos theta right that only he is saying work done by the force is defined to be the product of component of the force in the direction of the displacement and the magnitude of the displacement and the magnitude of the displacement right so here the product of component of the force in the direction of displacement the product of product of means here two things are there ma one is component of the force in the direction of displacement that is f cos theta and the magnitude of the displacement that is d so finally what is that f cos theta into d f cos theta into d that is equal to f bar dot d bar f bar dot d bar so that w is equal to f d cos theta or f bar dot d bar right so it is the definition of work it is a definition of work right so the work done by the force is defined to be the product of component of the force in the direction of the displacement and the magnitude of the displacement thus w is equal to right now we are going to see how many types of work that is what uh, based on the situation ma based on the situation the work done may be negative the work done may be positive the work done may be zero the work done may be zero right so if you observe carefully here the amount of work done depends upon three things one is magnitude of force and magnitude of displacement and the direction of force and displacement vectors direction of force and displacement vectors okay why because here why i am saying 
द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन डिपेंड्स अपॉन फोर्स एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट वैक्टर्स मीन्स एंगल एंगल इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग नो हियर वाई बिकॉज इफ एंगल चेंजेस ऑटोमेटिकली द वर्क डन विल बी चेंज बिकॉज फोर्स इज ए वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट इज ऑल्सो ए वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी डिसप्लेसमेंट इज ऑल्सो ए वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी ओके राइट सो हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली जस्ट इमेजिन the force acting on the body okay the magnitude of the force acting on the body is zero then what about the work done is zero no so you can say that no work is said to be done so no work done similarly there the force is acting on the body but uh, there is no displacement there is no displacement means the magnitude of displacement is zero then what about the work no work done work done is said to be zero or no work done right in the third case for example magnet force is present displacement is present but both are perpendicular to each other direction of force is perpendicular to the direction of displacement then what will happen theta is 90 degrees no when theta is equal 90 degrees cos 90 is zero no then automatically work done is said to be zero so you can also say that no work done okay so that's why in all the cases i mean three cases i told you in the first case the force is zero work done is zero in the second case displacement is zero for example i am going to push the wall right so though i am applying force even though i am getting sweat because of continuous applying force but the wall is not going to displace in this case in this case when the displacement is zero automatically work is zero no so that's why when f is equal zero or s is equal zero or the angle between force and displacement is 90 for example for example you are going to you are going to keep a suitcase on your head and by keeping the suitcase on your head you are going to move horizontally you are going to move horizontally in this case the force applied by you on the suitcase is vertically upward and the direction of displacement is along the horizontal so the angle between the muscular force what you applied on the suitcase and the direction of displacement is 90 so when theta is 90 between uh, uh, force and displacement then work done is zero right the work done is zero right so the force is zero or displacement is zero and the angle between direction of force and direction of displacement is 90 the work done is said to be zero so you can also say that no work done or zero work done zero work done okay right in another case in another case right in another angle if you see that for example a person is walking otherwise a person is going to apply certain amount of force on an object on an object in rightward direction in rightward direction but at the same time the object is also going to displace in that same direction in that same direction then what about the angle between direction of applied force and the direction of displacement right so the angle is zero no so when the angle is zero right but here force is present and displacement is present so force the magnitude of force exists and the magnitude of displacement exists along with the directions because the force and displacement are the vector quantities but when the angle is zero between the force and displacement then what will happen to that so that is what uh, fs cos 0 when cos 0 is equal to 1 no so then the amount of work done what you will get is positive what you will get is positive so positive work done positive work done okay right similarly negative work done what is the negative work done right okay suppose you are going to drop an object from certain height you are going to drop an object from certain height so when you are going to drop an object from certain height what will happen it will try to reach the surface of the earth in this case what is the direction of the gravitational force downward what is the direction of displacement downward then what is the direction of 
frictional force offered by the air molecules what is the direction of the frictional force offered by the air molecules right so in this case in this case the angle between the direction of displacement of the object what you are going to drop freely and the direction of the frictional force offered by the air molecules because the air molecules try to stop the motion of the object okay so the angle between these two that is what direction of displacement and direction of the frictional force offered to the motion of the object is 180 degrees right so when theta is equal to 180 cos 180 is minus 1 now so if you substitute that theta in this formula that is w is equal to fd cos theta or fs cos theta so either d or s both both the letters we are using to represent the displacement so when theta is equal to 180 cos 180 is minus 1 now cos 180 is minus 1 right so when cos 180 is minus 1 the work done is said to be negative so negative work done negative work done okay so this is about the work and different types of work different types of work right so mathematically work is the product of force and displacement but uh, according to the scale, definition of scalar product that you can also write it as f and d cos theta fd cos theta right so that you can also write f cos theta into d so when you are writing in terms of f cos theta into d then you can define work done is the product of component of the force in the direction of the displacement and the magnitude of displacement and the magnitude of displacement right so that is w is equal to f cos theta into d that is equal to f bar dot d bar but uh, based on the magnitude of displacement basically based on the direction of force direction of displacement magnitude of force magnitude of displacement and the angle between the force and displacement angle between the force and displacement here itself for clarity purpose you can say that the work done depends upon the work done depends upon the magnitude of applied force and the direction of displacement and that uh, the magnitude of force and the direction of displacement and the direction of force and the magnitude of displacement also so broadly you can say that the amount of work done depends upon magnitude of force magnitude of displacement and the direction of force and the direction of displacement also right so when w is equal to fd cos theta then suppose if theta is equal 90 degrees or f is equal 0 or d is equal 0 then work is said to be done then a zero amount of work is said to be done or the work done is said to be zero right that is the example of no work done or zero work done even though force is present displacement is present if the angle is zero so here the applied force the, the body is displacing along the direction of applied force the body is displacing along the direction of applied force when the body is displacing along the direction of applied force then we can say that then we can say that the work done is said to be positive right suppose if the body is displacing opposite to the direction of applied force if your body is displacing opposite to the direction of applied force so that the angle between force and displacement is 180 so at the time the amount of work done is said to be negative so amount of work done means here the sign right work done is a scalar quantity work done is a scalar quantity so work done doesn't have any specific direction or direction but this uh, zero positive or negative indicating or gives the information about the direction of force and the direction of displacement right so at last you can see the units of work done right so i already mentioned in the in this same class just before 10 minutes so work is a form of energy now so that the work and energies the work and energy having the same formulas same units right so here erg is the unit of work that is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 joules actually joule is the unit of energy but uh, 
to represent the smaller values and larger values we have different units to measure the amount of work done so electron volt that is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules then calorie it is 4.186 joule then kilowatt hour kilowatt hour we use that is what 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joules so this erg we are using while when we talk about in our daily life work electron volt means generally in case of uh, magnetic effects of electric current otherwise simply electric current calorie is a unit generally we are using to measure or when we talk about heat energy similarly kilowatt hour we are using to, uh, to measure electrical energy right okay so afterwards you can also say that the work and energy have same dimensions the work and energy have same dimensions right so what is the dimensional formula how to write dimensional formula in our first chapter that is units and measurements we completed to learn so that if you write the dimensional formula for work just uh, this is the formula work is equal to force into displacement then similarly energy so work and energy having same dimensional formula having same dimensions okay right so in this class we focused to discuss we focus to learn one example problem so in this example problem we calculated the work done by the gravitational force in case of raindrop based on the given values that is what the mass of the raindrop is 1 gram and height from which raindrop falls is 1 kilometer right afterwards we came to discuss what is the work done by the resistive force on the raindrop that is there we used uh, work energy theorem change in kinetic energy is equal to wg plus wr so wg means work done by the gravitation force wr means work done by the unknown resistive force next uh, we discussed what is the work so here itself work done is defined as the product of component of the force in the direction of the displacement and the magnitude of displacement so that w is equal to f cos theta into d that is equal to f bar dot d bar based on the situation based on that magnitude of force direction of magnitude of force and magnitude of displacement and the angle of the force and the displacement the work done may be zero or positive or negative right so work done depends upon the magnitude of force and the magnitude of displacement and the angle between force and displacement okay right afterwards these are the units for work and you can also say that work and energy have same dimensions work and energy have same dimensions okay right thank you